In this video clip, I'm going to show you all the steps necessary to take the truss bridge rough sketches and set them up on SketchUp in order to create the orthographic drawing. The orthographic drawing is the 2D drawing, which will later be raised into the isometric drawing and then will ultimately be printed for layout for bridge construction. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that I have the PDF tutorial open just in case I need to refer to any of the directions. So you should also do so at this time. The bridge SketchUp Ortho tutorial is right here. I'm going to click on it. I will get a preview in the screen and I will also have the option to download the file. If I click on the download file link I will then need to hit save if I'm using Chrome. Save that somewhere on my desktop. So I already have my tutorial open and I'm ready to get started. So taking a look at my truss bridge rough sketches, I'm going to zoom in on this particular bridge right here because this is the one I'm going to use as my sample. On this rough sketch, I have only included the scale drawing, so these are just half sizes. So I would need to multiply by two to get the entire length of the bridge, and I would need to multiply by two for the entire length of the top of the bridge, as well as the height of the bridge. This is the truss that we are going to be looking at. So Let's open up SketchUp and let's get started. Go, go to the Start menu and you're going to go into All Programs, My Applications and look for Google SketchUp 8. If you're looking for the Pro version, it might be in App V Testing. But you're looking for SketchUp 8 or SketchUp 2013. It does not matter which one you use. I'm going to open up Google SketchUp 8. Once that loads, I am then able to see all of my preset toolbars that I have saved. If you do not see these toolbars, it would be a good idea to go into your view option, go to toolbars, make sure the large tool set has been selected, the views has been t uh, selected, and large buttons. So I have the views right here, which will help me orient from isometric to ortho drawings at any time, and I have the large tool set at the top of my screen. The next thing I want to do is I want to take a look at my drawing. I'm going to pull that up and I need to find out what the length of the bridge is. Okay, so the length of the bridge is 5 inches on the drawing paper, so 10 inches in real life. So for 10 inches, that is the length. I need to know what the width of the deck is, so it actually would be going backwards and our restrictions are anywhere from 3 to 4 inches. So the width of my bridge is 3, so I would need to know that the length is 10 and the width would be 3. So let's go back into SketchUp, and I'm going to first get rid of the person, click on her with the mouse pointer, and hit delete key on the keyboard. And I want to go find my two-point rectangle, find the origin where X, Y, and Z axes intersect, the red, green, and blue. Click once with the left mouse button, and then drag the mouse without clicking anything else, drag the mouse diagonally across up to the top right corner of the screen and as you can tell at the bottom of your screen you're seeing the dimensions changing. You're starting off at 0, 0, 0 or 0, 0 for the X and Y. Now I want to make my next endpoint of the rectangle on this diagonal wherever my pencil is that will be 10 comma 3. So that coordinate is 10 comma 3. So I have to simply just type on my keyboard. I don't have to click anywhere type 10 and it will show up in the dimensions at the bottom right corner of the screen comma 3. When I'm satisfied with the dimensions that's going to basically snap the second endpoint so I'm ready to go. Hit enter. 10 comma 3. The next thing I want to do is I want to zoom to extents so look up here at the top so we can enlarge it and then grab the top view so that we see just the deck of the bridge. So at this time, I need to go back to my layout, take a look at the gaps that I have here, and maybe make a measurement. So from here to here, that is one inch. All right, so in real life, that should be two inches. So I know what each one of these divisions should be because the deck should line up with the truss, which is the side. So before I do any of that, I want to create the offset of half the thickness of the piece of balsa wood. So click anywhere on the outside edge and create 1 16. So type in 1 slash 16. Enter the fraction 1 16. Then I'm going to take my line tool 
and I need to measure over two inches all the way across the 10 inches. I could do it by using the line tool and measuring out each one, or I could use my tape measure, starting at zero, move, measuring over and clicking two, or not clicking, but pressing two in the keyboard for the length, hit enter, and I have a marking. Set up on that guide point, zero, and then trace out another two inch marking, two, enter. And then so on and so forth, all the way across the deck of the bridge so that I get my two inch divisions that go all the way across. From here, I can simply take the pencil tool or the line tool, click on my guide points, drag a line down, and click on the second edge. So I'm basically drawing these lines so that they run parallel to the green axis. So each line actually should highlight green for this particular step in the drawing. Now that all of those pieces are created, I'm now ready to set up my side view and later on the other area for the other side. So let's use the tape measure tool again and I'm going to measure from this corner up. I clicked once and I'm dragging the tape measure up along the green axis and I'm going to type 0.25 enter. It's going to be a quarter inch up and you're going to see what we do with these later. And then come down here 0.25 for each of these. Now let's take the tape measure tool once again to measure what this is right here that's 10 inches in length. Now let's go back to my drawing, my rough sketch paper, and I can see that the height of my bridge is one inch on the paper, so in real life that would be two. So I need to zoom out using the wheel of the mouse and I'm going to take my rectangle again, start on this point as my new origin, and drag it up towards the top right corner of the screen, and then type in 10 for the x value, comma, 2. So 10, comma, 2. So it's going to be 10 inches long and 2 inches tall for the truss. So there is your truss. Next thing you do is you want to figure out the angles that you need to make on either side to create the trapezoid. So essentially, you could do this with a shortcut using the line tool and tracing straight up on both of these points right here. Zoom in a little bit. And then go ahead and create the angle. This is one way of doing it. But with this way, I have to erase, using the eraser tool, these extra edges. There's another way of doing this. So I'm undoing. The other way is to take the tape measure and measure from the top over two inches and do the same thing over here over two inches and then draw my lines down. From here I need to then eliminate those excess lines by taking my eraser tool and pull each of those lines away by just selecting each one so they highlight blue and now I'm ready to create the offset, offset for the inside. So the inside offset will be a sixteenth of an inch as well so type one sixteenth enter and there's the sixteenth inch. From here I then look at my drawing and see what I need to do. So I have a line going straight down, straight down all the way across or in the vertical areas and then I have some diagonals going across as well. So I'm going to simply take my line tool, measure a line straight down from each of these angles and then I can decide to use these endpoints from the deck just to draw them out as guide references Take the eraser tool, erase any unwanted areas, take my line tool, connect this diagonal, do the same thing over here, and then we're going to come up to this midpoint. Come straight down, and come straight down. So there is my shapes that I need. Now let's create the top view, so take the tape measure tool once again and click on this edge, this endpoint, and type .25, enter. And we're going to go 0.25, enter. And we're going to now create the top view. So the top view will be the same length as the top of the truss, and it will be the same width as the width of the deck so that they line up. So 3 inches by 6 inches. So 6, 3 is what we will essentially type in whenever we start our, or try to finish our rectangle. So we start right here for the first point of the rectangle. For the second point, we basically move the mouse and then we're going to type 6 
comma, three, enter. And there is the top of our bridge. So once again, we'll take our offset tool, create an offset of a sixteenth of an inch. And from here, let's go ahead and trace up some geometry from the previous side. So let's pull those straight up and then erase any of the connecting lines that connect both the side and the top view. So there is everything we need. At this time, you could put more diagonals in or what, once again, remember that you are creating your own bridge. This is simply just a demonstration of a sample. Okay, so this is my sample so far and your bridge should be designed uh, before you are ready to go into the isometric drawing. All right, so let's take the offset tool. Once again, this time I'm going to use the offset tool and I'm going to show you a shortcut. If I click on the offset tool, I need to create the additional thickness of this line because right now I only have the balsa wood to be a sixteenth of an inch. To make it a full eighth of an inch, I need to add another sixteenth inch. So I'm going to click on any of the inside edges. I'm going to start right here. Click once and drag it inside so I have a little rectangle started here that's equally offset between all sides. And I'm going to type one sixteenth inch enter. Once I've set the parameters for the first rectangle, I'm going to then double click on all the other pieces. So as you can tell, this is a shortcut. So I no longer have to type out one sixteenth inch for each individual piece. And I'm typing all of those right now. Now that I've offset the other sixteenth of an inch, we can actually check it to make sure that everything looks right by taking the tape measure tool starting on one edge going to the opposite edge. Eighth of an inch, sixteenth. So two sixteenths added together will give you the full eighth inch thickness of the balsa wood. So we are in good shape. Now the next thing to do is to erase all the unwanted or unnecessary lines. So there's a lot of overlapping or intersection is occurring. So you're going to need to zoom in using the wheel of the mouse and you're going to then erase all these individual lines that intersect or overlap. And in some cases you may run into issues where uh, the intersections caused a hole to appear in your drawing. And what I recommend for these sections is to basically erase all the lines leading up to that little spot. And then you're going to, in some case, have to doctor it up by either tracing a rectangle over top or sometimes it just goes away. As you can tell right there, it just went away. If there are any problems with that, uh, consult your teacher and they will help you in fixing any of the problems that you are encountering. I'm going to go through and erase all the other lines and then we will be able to resume with creating the thickness of the balsa wood on the z-axis. Now before I create the thickness of the balsa wood, I also need to make sure that I get rid of all the unwanted uh, faces that you see right here. So I'm going to take the mouse pointer to select each individual face so that they highlight and have little dots. Hit the delete key on the keyboard and then delete each one of the faces. So I'm going to start off with the easy ones first, then move on to this piece right here. Sometimes you may get a section that happens like this. So when I click here, I can delete this piece here and here, here and here, but sometimes I get problems like this. And if this occurs, I'm not able to delete the sections that I want to get rid of. So I take the, the line tool and I'm going to retrace the line, any of the lines in this triangle and then any of the lines in this triangle right here. And I also noticed that I made a mistake by not erasing these little lines right here. Not a big deal, but it may mess some things up later on. Okay, so all those lines have gone away. And let's delete those two additional faces. Now let's click on the isometric view. And then we're going to raise each one of these pieces an eighth inch thickness. So you're going to use the push-pull tool. And then you're going to click on the face so that they're highlighted and then you're going to raise it up and then you will enter the dimension or distance 1 slash 8, 1 eighth of an inch. Now a shortcut here to do these other two is to click on the, sur the surface, the face, click once then drag over the mouse until you find on edge of the previous drawing. So what that's doing is it's making it flush or sit in line with the height of the previously drawn deck of the ridge. Let's do this last one, bring that up, and we'll drag it to the deck of the bridge again. So now we should have, by clicking on the top view, a finished orthographic view of the bridge up to the point where we need to duplicate this piece right here. Now would be a good time to save 
or if you are in the habit of saving earlier, you can do that. Hopefully you've saved already by going to File, Save As, save this into your student drive or student H drive. I'm going to save mine just to the desktop and I'm going to title it whatever class period number I'm in. I'm in period four. My last name, ortho in all caps and then hit save. Now it's saved and you will be able to see it at the top of the screen or the top of the window where it says my name and what file I'm currently working on. That is important because this is the file that we will be using later in layout. Now I want to duplicate the side view. So in order, in order for me to duplicate it, I need to turn each one of these views into a component. Um, right now I can only click on an edge instead of clicking on the entire object. So I need to triple click, not once, not twice, but three times on each shape and turn them into components. So I'm going to, to triple click, right click, make component, and then hit create when you're finished. Triple click, right click, make component, create. Triple click, right click, make component, create. Now whenever you select each of these individual sides, they are highlighting all at once in blue. Now I would take the move tool and I'm going to basically click or not click but press on the control key on the keyboard so that you see a plus sign next to the multi-directional arrow and then I'm going to click on the endpoint the top left endpoint of this side and I'm going to click once and drag it down until I reach that other guide point that I created and now I have all of my views so at this time I'm going to hit save again I'm ready to now start the isometric view and I'm going to show you that in the next video clip. At this time you have a finished orthographic drawing and you will now be able to submit that to the Dropbox on Blackboard. So if I click on the back button it should take me to the Dropboxes right here. So the orthographic trust drawing Dropbox. Browse my computer, find the file and then submit when you are finished.